Right, good morning, everybody. It's just before 8 o'clock. You can see, nice and bright out. And the reason I'm outside is, well, we got a little update out here now. Hardening off has begun. There's my strawberries on our way out here to the greenhouse, which I set up in the yard now. Here's part one of three. So here we are. I had the heater out last night. It was supposed to dip into the four, low, low, low 40s, so I didn't want a chance that there would be any spotty frost. So I put my heater in here. It stayed around 52 degrees. It says it's 57 right now because it's getting warmer because of the sun. Anyway, um, right over here, I got my CGN 21500s. And moving along, I got my gourd. I mean, look at these leaves. Not really a ton of growth. It's starting to throw out a bunch of more leaves now, but it's pretty healthy. And my peas and my beans. The beans are looking a little deficient in chlorophyll. Hopefully they'll get more dark as we progress here. Um, anyway, red seven pots here. My RBB Gusano, Turtle Claw, or Caterpillar, whatever you want to call them. And then these two small ones I picked up yesterday at a nursery. They're just they just labeled as regular habaneros. They look kind of a gold color, so I'm curious to see how they'll fruit. I bought one of those last year, but it never went to fruit. And my three white boots looking delicious. And my Maruga Scorpion. So, that's part one. And we're going to mosey on into my porch where I got some plants hardening off in my porch, which I bring out during the day for a period. And you can see, bam, these are all the ones that were in the greenhouse except for the really tiny ones, which I'll be showing you shortly. Um, there's my Eximium number one. And my two bird's eyes. And then my three monkey face. The two orange Cheyennes. Two of my three red Rakotos. My TCO7246. Cory Sitakami number one. And the three TOs are starting to perk up. My red Pimientos, which are eh, kind of sad, especially this one. This one's probably faring the best, but they're all three of those just got beat down by the basement. My pink Bertona tomato, my sun gold tomato, which uh, pretty pretty tall. It's approaching three feet long now, or tall, I should say. And my purple cayenne. So, all right, I'm gonna stop this one, and we'll go upstairs. All right, we're upstairs now. We'll start off with my by far healthiest plants. These are my peach butt jalokia. Uh, ridiculous, as you can see with the vegetation. Um, this one has seven main branches off the main stem that I counted. There could be more. It's hard to, because it's so bushy of a plant. Um, but this one has nine, so this might have a few more. Um, moving along, we got my bikino irisamas. I'm hoping I get some good harvest off of these. They're pretty small peppers, so should throw out quite a bit of pottage. Doesn't have to invest as much energy into the uh, pods as some of these bigger ones. So and this one's still kind of small, but it's looking really healthy. It's not like it's a crappy plant, you know. Really pretty leaves, really symmetrical leaves I've noticed with these ones, more than any of the other chin ends. Uh, white Fatalis, quite lush, bushy. Orange Manzano, CGN 221-84s. They, they have kept this lighter color all, after all this time, so I'm going to say that I think that that's the way they're supposed to look. They don't look unhealthy. There's no yellowing, just a paler green than the others, especially the chin ends tend to have darker leaves. Uh, there's my red REBB Gusanos from Yes. Purple UFOs perking up again. They were underneath it in that cage thing. I don't know how much I like the idea of putting my bigger plants on the, in those cramped shelves. Um, what? Purple UFOs. And my Chico Ants, which are looking all right. 
They're pretty small. And then there's my Amazon. Amazon orange. Uh, Peruvian purples are lushing up. I'm going to step on in here. Get a better vantage point. My yellow bullet habs. Looking pretty branchy. But they're a smaller plant. I mean, just the way they grew. And up top here, we're bouncing back. There's my three Zavery plants. There's my Peril Orange Sweet Pepper. Perking up a little bit now that it's out of the basement. No more basement. My Yellow Orange Bird Peppers. Leafing out nice since I pruned them. And my Elephant's Trunk also looking very healthy. Oh, it's a flower bud. Hey. Look at that. And there's another one up there, too. And another one. Or two. Ah, there's a few on there. Cool. Moving along, got my Tobago seasoning. My Cantina yellows. Two and three, which are pretty tall. I'd like to transplant them fairly soon. I don't get paid for another week. And then I'm going on vacation this, the day I get paid. So, it'll be... Well, we'll have, we won't have any break in the update videos since I'll be back on Sunday. Oh, there's one of those crane flies. Look at it. Can you see it? Right on the leaf there of my Pimenta Denade. Here's my other Eximium. It's got a really thick stalk, considering how small it is. Uh, my Congo Orange. Looking good. There's my unknown from Dale Baker. This is another one, actually. This and this and my bikino, more than any of my other chin ends, I've noticed are really super healthy and really symmetrical, glossy leaves. Uh, moving along, Pimenta Denade, infiltrated by the little bugger. I keep finding just like one of those at a time, and allegedly they lay eggs in the soil and can eat roots. So I try to get rid of them. Oh, and here's my Apaches. A lot of leafy growth going on. They're, they're perking up a lot more since I took them out of the basement as well. Hungarian black. Not sure what I'm going to get for pods off of some of these smaller ones this year. We'll try. I'll, I'll keep plugging at them. Cory Sitakami number two. Still pretty small. I'm not sure how, what's going on with that. But my Anaheim is doing pretty well. Both of them. Uh, here's my unknown. Possibly chocolate butt. Tasmanian Red is looking really nice, actually. That's a super healthy one. And Chadwick Cherry. So, and then the Black Trifle Seedling. There we are. And now back to the bottom to finish off the show of hands here. Got both my Bishop's Crowns. They're getting really tall. My All my Bacatums now are really starting to tower my Ahisito, those are both looking really nice. And my Ahi Crystal is just... By a couple inches now, my Ahisitos are catching up, but the Crystal is the tallest. Uh, there's my other Rakoto, which I pinched the top off of. And now it's starting to throw out a lot more foliage on this bottom part, now that it's not struggling to keep the top part alive anymore. Uh, Nagabon is ridiculous. And there's the second one, which is catching up just a little bit slower. It was in the smaller pot for too long, and I think that it was it shut itself down a little bit. Lemon drops all in a row. I've been plucking so many flower buds off of these things, so I think they're going to be good producers. I can see a bunch of flower buds on them now, actually. Bunch of, bunch of flowers. And my Cantina Yellow. And my two Jamaican hot chocolate habaneros. So, here we are. A little bit longer video this week. But, wanted to show everybody everything that's going on. So, I'll see you next week.